Hi everyone, in this video we are going to look at four ways in which you can control list editing in ServiceNow. By list editing, I mean coming to a list in ServiceNow and double clicking on a field value and entering in some other value and entering it to save that record. Method number one is globally via a system property. So if you come to system properties, UI properties, and you search for list edit, there is a list editing system property here that you can disable. By default, it's enabled, which means by default, all your tables in ServiceNow with some exceptions will be able to be edited in the list. Method number two is to disallow the editing of certain field types. And you can do that using the system property directly underneath the first one. This one here, list of element types. Okay, so by default, HTML, document ID, conditions, template value, etc., etc. These field types cannot be edited in a list in ServiceNow. Method number three is using the list control setting in each of your tables, which means you can enable and disable the editing of lists for each table individually. So to do that, come to your configuration menu in the list and go to list control. And here we can see that there is a list edit type setting right here. Okay. So this is the default setting here to save immediately as soon as you change a value for each individual field or cell in the list. But there are some other options as well, including disabling list editing. So if we do select that and save this record and come back to another user session here and double click somewhere in this list, I can double click as many times as I like I will not be able to list any of the values in this list, in this table. Method number four is by using a good old fashioned access control rule. So here I've got one for the entire cars table. It's not restricted to any particular field. And importantly, I've selected the list edit operation here. So at the moment to be able to edit fields in a list in this table, I need to have the cars admin role. So let's test this out. If I come here as a cars admin and I should be able to edit any field here that I like just by double clicking on it. However, if I go to another user, I should not be able to do that. So if I double click on the model or the VIN, any other field, I'm going to get a message saying that security has prevented me from writing to this field, but only in the list. If we come back to the access control rule and change this to a particular field, and update that, that's going to have a couple of effects. For the admin, actually nothing will change. I'll still be able to edit any field in the list, including the make field. So let's come back here. Let's double click on make. I can do that, no problem. I can select model, etc., etc. I can change everything in here. However, for someone who is not a cars admin, I should be able to now to edit these fields, model, year, etc., etc. But if I come to make, I'm going to get a message saying security prevents me from writing to this field. So with an access control rule, you can have more granular control over enabling and disabling who can make edits to lists. So again, they are the four different ways you can control list editing in ServiceNow. There are also some user personalization options that you have so if you come to your personalize button there, you can see these two down the bottom here, enable list edit. So if you want to, as an individual user, you may want to disable that. You may want to do that if you don't want that ability for whatever reason. And the second option is double click to edit, which is the default. But if you deselect that, it will just take a single click to edit a field. So if I click OK there, all I need to do now one click, edit, one click, edit, and so forth. Again, depending on your personal preferences. So again, these are the four ways which you as an admin can control this editing in your ServiceNow instance. And as an individual user, you've also got a couple of preferences as well. I hope you found this video helpful. See you next time. <laughs>